What's up, everybody? It's your boy C. Sims, and this is That Comic Show. See, I feel like I don't even need to say nothing no more. Today's Tuesday. That means it's Comic Book Tuesday. I'm gonna reach in this big bag of comics. I'm gonna pull out a comic book. And here we go. Bada bing, bada. Oh, wait, hold on. Switch up. Now I'm confused. I don't know which way I'm supposed to be reading this comic book, but this is called uh, Verdago Essential Graphic Novels. Verdago's Essential Graphic Novels. Now, this is a DC property, uh, according to the co publishers, uh, Jim Lee and Dan Didio. Dan Didio. So, this graphic novel is actually showing a bunch of different graphic novels within this particular comic book. We see Watchmen here, we see Superboy, uh, we also see some Batman stuff, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, we got Sandman, we got Batman Year One. Matter of fact, now that I'm looking at this, this is just telling me the different types of graphic novels. Oh, okay. All right, switching up. <laughs> this is what we're supposed to be looking at today. Uh, 100 Bullets, first shot, last call. First shot, last call. This was written by Brian Azazarillo and Eduardo Riso. Eduardo Riso, 100 Bullets, first shot, last call. Now, we open up this comic book and we are seeing a cityscape. Now, this is in the, uh, this is in the inner city, it looks like. Uh, we see the characters on a bus, well actually on a train. As they're on this train, there is a mysterious man with a briefcase. Uh, he's speaking to this young girl and he's conducting some type of business, showing her some loved ones. I'm assuming that this man is a, an assassin. It looks like that he is here to complete a job. He is here to take, uh, take a job or to complete a job. Now we're getting into the 100 bullet part. The 100 bullet part, that's what we're getting to. So we see this young lady in the rain and there is a gun up to her head. Uh, we move forward and we see that we are in a whorehouse. We're in a whorehouse and it looks like that these, <laughs> these muscular women, very defined women, is about to beat this woman up in, in an actual uh, shower. And it looks like that we are in a prison yard. Now we're in a prison yard. So this, this story, jumps around a lot uh, from what I'm seeing here um, jumps around a lot everything is taking place in the inner city um, again it, it looks like uh, it looks like that this is just a maybe a case of some missing people based on what I'm seeing here I see a young woman I, I see a daughter same woman that was at this jail now she is uh, doing some flashbacks and stuff like that um, it looks as though that she's also part of a gang so there's a lot going on in this comic book. Um, not a lot of uh, connective tissues here. I see it just a lot of jumping around and everything like that. But it looks like that she's talking to these gangsters. Uh, perhaps these gangsters are going to be uh, meeting up with this mysterious man in the suit and everything like that. Uh, looks looks pretty decent though. Looks pretty decent. Looks like an understandable uh, comic book from what I'm looking at now. Uh, just look like this is a bunch of turf wars and gang wars. You know, nothing wrong with that. Um, we get to the last page and it looks like that there's one gun and that same picture that seems to be circulating the entire time. It looks like that there's some um, some cops that look very crooked that arrest this woman because she's looking for some information that she don't they don't want her to know. Um, yeah, we see uh, yeah, based on this. It looks like there's a gang war. There's a gang war between the police officers and the actual gangs. And this woman is the center of everything. And this particular picture of the woman and a man and a young boy seems to be the center of all of this. And when she looks at the briefcase that the old man probably gave her, yeah, it's a gun and the picture. And that does it for the volume one, first shot, last call. It's a pretty uh, pretty good uh, graphic novel, if you ask me, as far as the, uh, the images is concerned. A lot of ink work, um, not a lot of color. It's really, um, 
boondocks it looks like the boondocks like that type of color palette that type of uh drawing style um it definitely looks like the boondocks type of style but um other than that i mean the comic is uh well this graphic novel is pretty pretty undefined it's the first album it's the first volume so a lot of it is not going to be solidified a lot of it's not going to be really explained but it looks like that everything is surrounding this picture so i hope that i have some more of these comics in here i don't even know what's in this bag of comics but i hope that some of these comics will uh will show itself and um i'll get to learn more about this story once again this is your boy sams this is comic book tuesday Go out there and check out your comic book stores. Every Tuesday, they restock their, their stuff. So, you know, go check out what's coming out and what's new. Sam's out.